Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's Rise and Grind, man. It's Two Real Tuesdays, man. And boy, am I so excited about the world champion herself. Straight out the South. Shout out. Big salute to Dallas, Texas. Big salute to Dallas, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mo3. Long live Mo3. But big shout out to the world champion, Chikari Richardson, man. Man, we are so fucking proud of you, bro. That's a win for the women first. The South next for the South. And thirdly, for the whole U.S. World champion. The way you came back from all the adversity and hate that them folk threw in your face and you still prove that smoking a blunt will smoke the hell out of a Jamaican. Smoke the hell out of them Jamaican. You came all the way back, Jack. I'm telling you, when I tell you, bro, if y'all go back and see the fucking video, man, you go back and see that fucking video of how she won that championship, when I tell you, she was behind them and came back. So I don't want to hear no more arrogancy from a Jamaican. Because a lot of times, y'all Jamaican folk and Caribbean people and people from up north, especially New York. New York is the worst. New York folk, people from up top, period. I don't care where you're from. It could be Philly. It could be anywhere up there. Even Detroit. Even Chicago. Y'all niggas be on some bullshit talking about the South sometimes. You know, I noticed it. And these are places that are the poorest of the poor places in the world, Jack. And I, listen, I'm never down in that because, hey, man, you know, you know, I didn't come from a poor place, so I can't really relate to that. I can't relate to that shit. I only experienced what I experienced when I got older, and I ain't had my parents no more. You see what I'm saying? Parents, grandma and mama, okay? So I didn't experience poor life, but a lot of y'all niggas come from poor areas. Then you move to areas like my city, Atlanta, Decatur, where it's greater, where I was raised at. So I came from greatness. So I can't relate to y'all, but a lot of y'all is overrated. So, I, you know, I can't say that I'm not happy that you didn't beat them Jamaican people because Jamaicans have a tendency to be really arrogant. For, for what reason, I don't know. But I understand, though. I get it. Because y'all came from, I mean, y'all did fight for y'all independence. So, you know what I'm saying? I get it. You know what I mean? I totally get it. But, and I get it. Because y'all, you know, you became, you know, but you still was on the British rule. And, and you know, you know what I'm saying? White people did uh, 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 shape your culture and your language. So a lot of times when you hear a southern person talking and you don't understand what we're saying, you want to holler country bumpkin. <clears throat> but anyway, all my country folk, be proud of yourself. Be proud of how you talk. Be proud of how you walk. Be, be proud of how your, how your peace set up, how you step around here. You did what I'm saying? Because a lot of these people are self hate You know what I'm saying? And see, to put down somebody else and how they talk and where they from and what they do, how they do their lingo, Bro, you got to not like yourself, bro. You got to be a self-hater. You a hater first, straight up. And I notice a lot of people that come from them areas be hating on people from the South, bro. It even go on in the so-called hip-hop, which I don't consider Atlanta music hip-hop, okay? I consider it to be uh, something we created. Yeah, I mean, it's nobody's responsible for what we did in Atlanta. To me, that's just my opinion. Like, I can't give... You know what I'm saying? Because we came from booty shaking era. That didn't come from up north. That didn't come from New York. New York didn't invent that. So we only took a step from what we what we invented, which was booty shaking music. That's where the strip clubs come from in the south, especially at Lama. So we built the strip club era. This is this is our music to me. So we not even I'm not even I don't even consider what our music did in hip-hop because that was created in new york that's something new york on new york on hip-hop that's they shit we created our shit our shit is southern playlistic after it turned from booty shaking it became southern playlistic shout out to outcast which is the greatest duo group in that what they call hip-hop what they said now they said this 
which is facts. They are the greatest group. Because they set trends. You know what I'm saying? And I know y'all know Atlanta influences everything. Anyway, this ain't about that. But I had to give a little educational background on our shit. You need to put some respect on our name and in the South. You understand? Watch your mouth. Anyway, bitch, salute to Shikari, man. Shikari, man, world champion. Came back and smoked them Jamaican like, boy, like a whole goddamn Dutch master. And I ain't talking about the white ones. I'm talking about the black Dutch masters. Big salute, Shikari, man. We proud of you, bro. You you overcame that. That's a sheroic moment. That was a sheroic moment. I, I suggest anybody that hadn't seen the video of Shikari winning the world champion yesterday, the world championship for the 100 meter, I suggest you go back and watch that. All my women, look at how powerful she is, bro. Look at how much she had to face and go back and prove to the world that, hey, I ain't went nowhere. And to me, she was a champion before she got disqualified last year over something. She was already going to be the champ. To me, she was going to smoke them anyway. Fastest woman in the world come from the South. Big salute, man. Big big way to show up and show out, man. Show them for what you had, what you was about. You did what I'm saying. That's a proud moment. Big salute to Shakari Richardson. I can't wait to see your bio, bio your biopic your documentary because i know you're gonna have one after this this was a comeback when i tell you the divine feminine is on the scene showing out that was a comeback jack and i can't wait to see it big salute to shikari once again we fuck with you shikari big shout out to dallas texas putting on for the whole world to see big salute to dallas texas in the building you dig that girl should have a whole monument in her city and a whole day to herself, a parade when she come home. All that shit, we want to see it. Atlanta want to see a parade and a day for Shikari Richardson. You dig? Anyway, I had to come on here and give my girl some love, man. I've been, I've been rooting for her since they disqualified her. I knew she was going to win, though. I knew she was going to come back and be the champ because that's where it belonged at. Anyway, champ, in the, champ of the South. You dig what I'm saying? Champs in the South, you dig? Anyway, two real twos. I'm finna get on out of here, man. Big salute to the South. Big salute to all my uh, 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 overcomers, overachievers, and people who face adversity and still fucking win and put on. You dig? I'm finna get on out of here. Scared money made. Be easy. <laughs>